You guys, this is something I stumbled upon while I was working with one of my private tutoring students. And I thought it was worth making a video here because I don't think a lot of you realize what's about to happen. And if you're a fashion freelancer or a designer who uses the Pantone colors in Illustrator regularly, you're gonna wanna tune in and stay to the end because I've got some really important information about the future of those libraries. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, my name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I make weekly videos talking about digital fashion design software and communications. So if those topics interest you, stay a while. Check out some of the other videos, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Happy to have you here. Okay, so I'm answering my student's question, and by the way, she is a freelancer, and she needs to know the best way to convert the textile Pantone colors to solid colors so she could use them on her cats. The first thing I thought about was to use Adobe Color, but when I tried that, I had a very rude awakening. That very cool feature that I talked about in this video is no longer there. So I was like, okay, what's going on? Turns out Pantone now has their own app and it's free mostly. So let me show you what you need to do. First off, to download the plugin, go to the Adobe Marketplace in the Creative Cloud app and search for Pantone. Once you find it, just follow the instructions to install it. And also take note of those icons. This update is not only going to affect Illustrator, but if you use Photoshop and or InDesign, it's going to affect those apps as well. So after you install it, open your program and to get to the new plugin, go to Window, Extensions, Pantone Connect, and then make sure you sign in to use the plugin. There are things you can do with a free Pantone account if you're a freelancer and have the freedom to create color palettes on your own or you're a designer creating palettes for your brand. You can do that with the free version and you can share the palettes with a partner or a collaborator or a client. You can also search for specific Pantone colors and you can explore color trends. But that's kind of the extent of it. Now, if you're willing to pay the $59.99 USD plus tax for the year or $7.99 plus tax per month, you can do a lot more, obviously. And many of those features are similar to functions you can perform in Adobe Color and Adobe Capture. So here's some of the cool stuff. First, you can extract colors. So if there's a color you love that's on a picture, you would go to Colors, Extract, Upload the Picture, move the color circle onto the color in the picture you want to add to your palette. And then once you stop moving, it will automatically find the closest panto match. It will allow you to add it to your palette, give you color data like a hex code or RGB values, allow you to see shades, color harmonies, and these colors are all matched back to whatever Pantone palette you're working with. Right now for me, it's the textile cotton TCX system. What my student needed and what many of us need as freelancers is this next part, cross-reference. When it comes to color, it's rare that a company who's hired you as a freelancer will ask you to come up with your own colors. Normally they've already decided on the color palette and they'll just tell you, these are the colors you have to work with. And then what we're doing is designing, sketching in Illustrator, and then showing those designs in color. And one of the things we'll have to do is create a color match that TPX or TCX watches the company is using for their seasonal color palette. The long and inefficient way to do this is to try and eyeball it. The more productive way to do this was to either use Adobe Color or Pantone's online converter. Well, Pantone now has moved the converter to the app and it's now called Cross Reference. Here's how to use it. Say your client gives you a TCX watch and you have to create a CAD using that color. What you can do is go to Colors, Pick. Choose the appropriate color library, find your color, and then click on the three dots in the upper right corner. To get a matching color to use for your CAD, you actually have a few options. First, you can go to the color data and use the sRGB or hex codes, 
Or if you wanna keep it Pantone, which you might particularly if you're matching a graphic and need a Pantone ink color, choose cross reference, choose the Pantone color system you wanna use, and then scroll down to see the color options they've generated for you. Usually there'll be a best match plus three or four alternatives. And then all you need to do is go to Window, Swatch Libraries, Color Books, open the appropriate Pantone library and find the color Pantone Connect is recommending. And here's the easiest way of all. The colors you find in the Pantone Connect can be added to your swatches panel. So if you are only converting it for the sake of matching the color on a CAD, just click the three dots in the upper right corner and choose add to swatch. It will just add the TCX or TPX color to your swatches panel. Pretty rad, right? Now, if you do a lot of CADs and color matching, you may want to decide that you want to pay the $60 or $8 a month to get the app. And it does have a 30 day trial that you can try this out first and see if it makes sense for you. I've tried to find other sites that will convert the TCX colors. And so far I've been unsuccessful. So if it's something you need to do, this might be it for you. And if you're going to test this, do it now. There's a reason I labeled this video with 2022, and that is that by August 31st, 2022, most of those wonderful Pantone libraries that we're used to seeing in Illustrator will be gone. Say what? Yep, gone. All except the Pantone Plus CMYK coded and uncoded in the Pantone Plus metallic systems. If you notice when I did the cross-reference demo, that's the library I used, and for graphics, this is not what most of us are using. Most of us use the solid color coded or uncoded system. So again, if you need to use those Pantone libraries regularly, you might need to just go ahead and get your subscription to Pantone Connect. Anyway, now you know, so come September, you won't be surprised to see a much shorter list in the color books. And by then you'll have a solution for how you'll move forward. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out the link in the description to my Illustrator for Fashion sketching class. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.